What's up everybody? Been seeing a lot of videos going on Facebook pages. A lot of our Nova pages, everybody's doing walk arounds on their rigs. You know what, I had never done one on mine. Felt left out, felt bored, felt lonely. So you know what, here's mine. I uh, guess you guys have already seen mine, doing a lot of stills, doing a lot of work on it. So I figure I'd catch you guys up to speed. Um, hell, I don't know where to start at, to be honest. So we'll just start back from here. Quarter panel, I'm replacing that. See a little dention right there? Yeah, I think that was done by the sandblaster. These guys are a bunch of a-holes down there. They'll never admit to it, but I know that that was not there. So, you know what? Assholes. Anyway, so back in, back here, I'm going to get a door skin on this one here. This is a slide hammers. I don't know when this did uh, happen. No history on the car whatsoever. But I tell you what, there was more mud on this damn thing than you got at a sand pit. So, anyway, that is going to get a door skin. Coming inside. There we go. Everything's done a black epoxy primer. Um, got some Swiss cheese over here that was done through the sand blasting. I'll get that here in just a second. So everything's pretty much done. Of course, the car is gutted. A lot, long way to go. Lots to do. Um, I'm painting the car red. Uh, underneath is going to be red as well. I did paint this with the uh, Rust-Oleum exterior old base paint. Uh, one thing I like about this paint, it'll always be shiny. It's real good paint. It's like $25, $50 a gallon. Uh, I did spray it through a little cheapo $25 uh, spray gun from Harbor Freight. You know what? Can't beat it. So going around to the front. There's my Heights coilover suspension, fully adjustable, rack and pinion, sway bar. Man, this thing was nice. I have one for my 63. And uh, you know what? That thing drove like a go-kart. Loved it. So you know what? Went ahead and paid for it. Got me another one. So here it is. It's a little bit better. The Heights front end. This, going, this uh, condenser coil came out of my Corvette. Boogered one up a couple years ago, so I figured I was going to save it and use it for something. And you know what? Since I am going with the LS uh, motor in here, why not? You know, I'm not going to be like Joe Swain and go get a LS motor and uh, go carb. Oh, pitiful dude, pitiful. <laughs> so that's what that came out of. I am going to use that. We're going to make a fit. Probably make some bracketry for that, nonetheless. Back inside. You see a little bit more of the Swiss cheese. I got a lot of, uh, I do have some replacement panels for all that. So that's no sweat, no big deal. Everything is all taken out. The front, here in the trunk, here's my panels. Fender patch panel, quarter panel patch panel, out of wheel well, driver's side floor pan, and that is the driver's side tow board. I am going to mount the battery back here in the back. I can't stand an ugly battery sitting up front. Why not spend just a little bit more money, a little bit more time, put a thing in the back and clean up your front end, you know, your engine bay. So this is going to get replaced as well. My uh, taillight panel, I do got some, some ugliness going on there, a little bit there. So that's going to be replaced. As well as this quarter panel. I'm going to do this again. I'm not, I'm not too happy when I wielded this in. So I'll probably go through a bigger one. Go probably maybe a full full skin with a jam. Uh, full quarter is four hundred dollars. I don't think I want to spend all that. So anyway, let me show you what's going on underneath. All right, so here's what we got underneath. It is a four link system from Heights. Didn't get to paint that big old thing right there because goddamn that thing was heavy lifting up underneath there. Four nine inch. Uh, I got three. 320, 323 gears. I wanted highway gears. I wanted something that was going to cruise. I'm not looking for a drag strip. I don't care about all that now. I'm going to pass. I just want to cruise. Went ahead and upgraded myself to grade 8 bolts. Love grade 8 bolts. Might as well go ahead and pay the extra dollar. Anything's worth doing is worth overdoing. My subframe connectors and all that is painted as well with the Rust-Oleum paint. Yeah, it's kind of ugly right there. Oh well. So underneath is going to be painted with that as well. Uh, I love that paint. You know what? Once it dries, it'll always stay shiny on you. Just wipe it off, off you go. So that's about it right there. Four link. It's nice. So we get now to get a full shot. 
a little money shut right there. That is the that is my uh, 8.2 10 bolt rear end came out of it. Looking to try baby to sell that. Somebody wants to come to Dallas and pick her up. I'll make a hell of a deal on that. Get rid of that kid right there. There you go. More to come.